So what we have to do is we have to edit uh, edit the uh, firewall. Sorry, I'll make that a little bit smaller so we can see it. So if we look here, the zone that we're actually on when we connect through the router is this WAN zone. But it's actually behind your router, so you're okay with setting this to accept as well. And if you're setting up a wireless camera or any of that stuff, um, you definitely need to turn this to accept. And you can tweak it later on to suit your needs if you just want to allow one port. But pretty much this is on your, your internal network. And unless you have exposed it to your external network, people should not be able to come in and access it. So there we've done that. So we need to restart the firewall. Okay, so it supposedly restarted the firewall. We're going to try again. And see there we have your uh, Lua configuration interface. So now we can connect in here and configure everything through the OpenWRT Lua web configuration interface. Now you can get the very latest version Barrier Breaker and compile it and run it on this and a lot of this stuff works better on there. Um, for instance, I try and scan and it never seems to work on the default image that comes from China. But um, there are some other issues with the newer version that it might not be worthwhile. So here we can see we're using Barrier Breaker and you can also run Chaos Calmer. They, I found most of the stuff works in Chaos Calmer except for the MJPEG streamer it doesn't seem to work as well and that's one of the main things that I was using. So for that I've stuck with the uh, Barrier Breaker. And if you want to go in and, and modify the the firewall through the web configuration interface you can do that right from here. So there you have a perfectly functioning OpenWRT node connected to your uh, home router and you can log in and configure it through here. You can also log in and upload software to it and update the software. It will download software from the repositories and you can install packages. So if we wanted to find a package First we have to update the list, which might take a while. And see it actually downloads the packages from WRT node where they have the packages that go with this version of OpenWRT. But if you compile your own OpenWRT, you will have to have your own package repository where you can host those. And let me see if I just look for a package like GPIO. See what it finds. Okay, so see here's some packages that you can just click install and it will download and install these packages directly from the web configuration interface. So let's say we wanted to install a package motion, which is a package to um, actually only record your webcam or your camera when there's motion. You could download and install it from here and then go ahead and use it. At some point you'd probably have to go back to the command line interface to configure it. But this is all 100% up and running so if you guys want more tutorials on anything specific please let me know. If not I'll be having a tutorial on how to set up your camera in MJPEG Streamer and then we'll go from there.